Tesla just blindsided the entire auto industry. While Toyota plans solid-state batteries for $80,000 Lexus models and Chinese brands flood markets with $7,800 EVs, Elon Musk is doing something nobody expected, dropping cutting-edge solid-state technology into the $15,000 Model 2. Not the flagship Model S, not the luxury Model X, the cheapest Tesla ever made. Why would Tesla gamble its hottest battery tech on a budget car? And what does this reveal about the ruthless competition forcing Tesla's hand in 2026? Let's dive right in. Here's what's really happening. Tesla isn't making this move out of innovation. They're being forced into a corner. On one side, Chinese automakers are weaponizing price. BYD's Seagull sells for $7,800 and delivers 250 miles of range. Cattle's Shenxing batteries charge 400 kilometers in just 10 minutes, matching gas station convenience. These aren't concept cars. They're flooding showrooms right now. If Tesla launches a $15,000 Model 2 with outdated LFP batteries requiring 30 minutes to charge, who's buying it? The price advantage evaporates when Chinese EVS cost half as much and charge twice as fast. But here's where it gets interesting. On the other side, Japanese and European brands are elevating the entire game. Toyota plans solid-state batteries for 2027 Lexus models at $80,000. Stellantis and Factorial are testing Fest cells, delivering 375 watt-hours per kilogram with 15% to 90% charging in 18 minutes, targeting the electric Dodge Charger Daytona by 2026. Premium brands are positioning solid-state as luxury technology. So why is Tesla doing the opposite, putting advanced tech into their cheapest car? The answer reveals Tesla's ruthless strategy. The Model 2 will be their highest volume product, sold to buyers keeping vehicles for 8 to 15 years. These customers obsess over total ownership cost, purchase price, electricity bills, maintenance, and potential battery replacement. This is Tesla's actual battlefield, not the luxury segment. And here's the calculated risk. A 35 to 40 kilowatt hour solid state pack can still deliver 250 to 300 miles of real world range due to lower weight and efficiency without exploding costs. Is Tesla gambling everything on volume sales to offset expensive battery tech? Let's cut through the marketing noise and focus on hard data. Current LFP cells deliver 150 to 180 watt hours per kilogram. A 40 kilowatt hour LFP pack weighs 280 to 300 kilograms total. Solid state designs announced for early production target 250 to 300 watt hours per kilogram. Same 40 kilowatt hour capacity at 270 watt hours per kilogram, weighs only 180 to 200 kilograms complete. That's 80 to 120 kilograms lighter. Why does this matter for a compact car? Every kilogram removed improves acceleration, shortens braking distance, and increases range by 5 to 8 percent without adding capacity. For urban drivers making short trips, this compounds into meaningful efficiency gains over years of ownership. But weight reduction is just the opening move. Durability tells a different story. LFP batteries handle 1,000 to 2,000 deep cycles before declining to 80% capacity. With 230-mile real-world range per charge, that's potentially 350,000 miles at 1,500 cycles. Early solid-state targets aim for 2,500 to 3,000 cycles, a 50% improvement over high-end LFP scenarios. Here's why this changes everything. 
Tesla can allow aggressive fast charging without restricting power or setting charging limits to protect long-term battery health. The battery becomes less of a consumable component and more like a traditional engine designed to outlast the vehicle. Can Tesla finally eliminate range anxiety not by adding capacity, but by making batteries last longer? Now for charging speed. The metric that makes or breaks daily EV ownership. LFP can fast charge, but repeated high power use generates heat and accelerates degradation over years. Solid state cells have lower internal resistance across the operating range, meaning less heat generation when high current flows through. Temperature rises more slowly, reducing the likelihood of power throttling. A 10 to 15 minute charge from 10% to 80% becomes realistic for the Model 2 while maintaining acceptable long-term performance. This allows Tesla to offer a smaller pack while competing with gas station convenience. Safety is where solid state creates its most dramatic advantage. Most battery fires begin with liquid electrolytes vaporizing and igniting when overheated, triggering thermal runaway spreading cell to cell. Solid electrolytes resist ignition under normal conditions. Thermal runaway becomes significantly harder to initiate. If the Model 2 adopts solid state, Tesla gains substantial safety margins and can either strengthen crash protection or reduce weight to improve impact absorption. For buyers parking EVs in home garages near living spaces, this isn't theoretical. It's the difference between confidence and constant worry. Here's the financial reality nobody wants to discuss. LFP packs currently cost $100 to $120 per kilowatt hour. Early solid state production is projected at $150 to $200 per kilowatt hour once volume scales up. With a 40 kilowatt hour pack, LFP costs roughly $4,000, while solid state reaches $8,000 at the upper range. Even accounting for simpler cooling systems, the solid state Model 2 will cost several thousand dollars more up front. So, how does Tesla justify this to budget conscious buyers? The answer emerges over time, not at purchase. Operating costs favor any EV dramatically. If the Model 2 averages 4 miles per kilowatt hour and electricity during off peak hours costs 12 cents per kilowatt hour, each mile costs 3 cents. A gasoline car achieving 30 miles per gallon with gas at $3 per gallon costs 10 cents per mile. At 12,000 miles yearly, the Model 2 uses 3,000 kilowatt hours, costing $360 annually. The gasoline vehicle burns 400 gallons, costing $1,200 annually. That $840 yearly difference becomes $8,000 over 10 years and $12,000 over 15 years. Solid state doesn't radically change electricity costs, but its lighter weight helps reduce efficiency loss as the battery ages. The real financial divergence between LFP and solid state appears in long-term degradation scenarios. LFP typically handles 1,000 to 2,000 useful cycles before dropping to 80% capacity. Solid state targets 2,500 to 3,000 cycles. The goal isn't extending range temporarily, it's eliminating the probability owners will ever need full battery replacement. For a $15,000 vehicle, this is critical. Higher cycle life transforms the battery from a costly liability into a reliable component surviving the vehicle's entire lifespan. How many used car buyers will pay premium prices for a vehicle potentially needing a $4,000 to $8,000 battery replacement? Resale value completes the equation. Battery condition is the single most decisive factor for used EVs. A Model 2 with LFP degraded to 70% to 75% capacity after 12 to 15 years creates hesitation among used buyers anticipating expensive repairs. If the solid-state version maintains above 80% capacity 
during the same period and delivers practical range, buyers feel confident and pay higher prices. For households with modest budgets planning to keep the Model 2 beyond a decade, Knowing the car retains meaningful value at the end becomes part of the core financial calculation. Tesla's move reveals something deeper about the shifting EV landscape. Traditional automakers introduce new technology on flagship models to justify premium pricing. Tesla is inverting this logic entirely. By deploying solid state on the Model 2, they're betting that volume production will drive costs down faster than incremental improvements to existing LFP technology. This is classic Musk strategy. Take the expensive technology, manufacture it at massive scale, and force the economics to work through sheer volume. But there's risk here. If solid-state production encounters delays or quality issues, Tesla's entire affordable EV strategy stalls. If costs don't decline as projected, the Model 2's price advantage evaporates against Chinese competitors. And if early adopters experience unexpected degradation or charging issues, the reputational damage could undermine Tesla's quality perception in the mass market. Is Tesla moving too fast, or is everyone else moving too slowly? The competitive pressure is undeniable. Chinese brands aren't just competing on price. They're advancing battery technology simultaneously. Katiel's Shenxing batteries already deliver performance metrics approaching early solid-state targets using refined lithium-ion chemistry. If Chinese manufacturers achieve similar results with cheaper production methods, Tesla's solid-state advantage becomes marginal. The window for differentiation may be narrower than Tesla expects. Can solid-state technology provide enough performance separation to justify higher costs in a brutally competitive market? Here's exactly why Tesla chose the $15,000 Model 2 for solid-state. They're fighting for survival in the mass market, not chasing prestige. While premium brands position solid-state as luxury tech for $80,000 vehicles, Tesla recognizes the real battle is at $15,000, where Chinese brands dominate on price and speed. By deploying advanced technology at massive volume, Tesla forces economics to work through scale, potentially driving costs down 40% to 50% within three years. This signals a fundamental shift. The next decade won't be won by whoever builds the fastest EV. It'll be won by whoever makes affordable cars with genuinely lower total ownership costs than gasoline. If Tesla succeeds, expect every automaker to abandon premium-first strategies and race toward affordable solid state by 2028. Toyota's 2027 timeline, Katiel's advances, and Tesla's volume production will collide in the next 24 months triggering the fastest battery evolution we've ever seen. What happens when solid state becomes standard for budget EVs? Does the gasoline market collapse faster than expected? This is tech revolution, breaking down the technology reshaping transportation. If you want more analysis cutting through the hype, you know what to do. The future isn't just electric. It's arriving cheaper and faster than predicted.